What's going on guys? Good afternoon. Welcome back to Theory Garage. Got the bird behind me today. Today, in my opinion, marks the actual start of the build. Up until this point, we've just been tearing parts off, cleaning and preparing for the new parts installation. I'm glad to say that day is finally here. You know, I've been involved in the car community a long time, going on 15 years, whether it be from the sport compact scene with my Cobalt SS making over 500 wheel, my Cadillac CTSV running 10 O's at 136 mile an hour, but absolutely nothing is gonna beat the performance that this car is gonna provide. You know, we're working with the best companies, the best parts money can buy, whether it be Strange Engineering, Midwest Chassis, AFCO, Optic Armor, this car is literally getting the best parts money can buy. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the front end right now and show you some of the assembly. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start off with is actually throwing the cam member in the car. Uh, quick, you know, four 19 millimeter bolts to throw it on. Let's go ahead and get this thing tossed on there. We already threw on the passenger side. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on the lower control arms right now and followed by the steering rack. Uh, pretty much this is looking like it's a big Lego set for adults at this point. And uh, everything's going together pretty smoothly. So we got a little bit caught up in the work there, but uh, we got the crash bars installed, the steering rack, lower control arms. Obviously the K-member was the first thing we installed. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, upper A-arm bracket. We'll install the upper A-arm. and We have to assemble our strange double adjustable shocks uh, in order to slap them in there. All right, so we already got our first shock assembled. We're gonna walk you through the steps of assembling the second one. Uh, already got our ride height uh, rings pretty much bottomed out there. Now take off the top half, slide that out the way. Spring goes all the way down. We got our thrust bearings right here. Go ahead and flip it on over. That way everything sits down where it needs to. And you can thread your rings down in order to lock the spring in. Um, I didn't really see anything particular from Strange about setting the preload. Uh, I'm probably just going to go ahead and set it about an eighth of an inch. That way the spring isn't rattling around and we'll call it good right there. And these will be ready to throw in the car in just a second. All right, after we finished up the other side already, uh, we actually realized we had to decompress the, uh, the strain shocks in order to get everything to sit right. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in right now into the air arm bracket. Up top. And the lower one. We're going to be using the uh, lower height setting on the Midwest chassis lower control arms for now. And uh, we'll go adjusting as need be. We're gonna go ahead and move on to uh, putting the chromoly spindle on right now. Uh, Danny's gonna give me a hand with that because it's a little bit awkward. Thank you. 
Now all that's left to do is adjust the preload on the strain shocks to get this spring back up and tight. So lastly, all we have to do is go ahead and insert the tie rod into the spindle. Obviously, we have no idea on any of our alignment settings as of yet. So we're just going to go ahead and throw these in as they are. Once we get some wheels on it, we'll go ahead and measure it out. All right, guys, we got the entire Midwest Chassis Stage 5 front end kit installed, which includes the K-member, steering rack, spindles, upper control arms, lower control arms, upper A-arm bracket, uh, along with the strange double adjustable shocks. We're gonna go ahead and move on next to the strange hubs and brakes. So go ahead and see that next. All right, guys, we're down to pretty much my favorite part of the front end assembly, which is gonna be the Race Strange Pro Series front brake setup. We have all the parts laid out on the table. We already went ahead and knocked out the passenger side. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the driver's side right now and walk you through the entire assembly. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is wrap up the strange front hubs. We're gonna have the wheel bearings packed with grease and laid in the hub. So we just gotta go ahead and slam in the oil seal real quick. Just gonna line it up as best as I can. Use this puck to try and slam this thing in evenly. A little bit more on this side. That's ready to go. So the only thing we gotta do now is go ahead and put the caliper bracket on the car. Uh, we already figured out the shimming and everything to get the brake pads lined up on this side. So the next side should go together really smooth. The strange setup is incredibly complete. Uh, all your necessary hardware, all the brackets, literally everything goes on like it was intended to. These little raised areas right here, they're gonna go ahead and space it from the spindle in order to help us center the caliper uh, with the rotor so we have even pad wear. Go ahead and throw them on real quick. Nice and easy. All the hardware is zinc coated. This stuff's gonna stay in nice condition for a long time. tightened up there. If you don't have one of these in your life and you work on cars on the daily, you're really missing out. I'm just letting you know. We already verified the wheel bearings sat nicely on the spindle before we went ahead and packed it with grease and put it in the hub. So we just got to set it on real quick. It sat down nice and flush. I'm going to go ahead and grab the front one. That way we can get everything assembled and tightened down in here. So the front bearings already all packed. We just got to go ahead Press this on real quick. Now take this socket, make sure she's seated all the way. I'm pretty sure she already sat, but yeah, she's all the way in. And I said everything's super nice, zinc coated. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the hardware on. It's incredibly imperative that you do not crank this thing down. It's riding on the wheel bearings. This is merely just retaining this assembly on the spindle. That's all it's doing. It's gonna have a cotter pin in order to secure it. That way it won't back off. Tough there, walk it down with the socket. I am gonna walk it back and forth in order to make sure the wheel bearings are seated all the way down on the spindle. So I am gonna crank it. We're gonna see some grease starting to come out. We're just gonna be loosening it back and forth and tightening it back up in order to make sure this thing's seated all the way down. We already got the castle nut on, which is gonna help retain this hardware. Last thing to do is just go ahead and throw the cotter pin in. We slide it in. I 
this thing's done as flush as we can. And that's it. I mean, we're ready to go ahead and throw our rotor on and the caliper and the driver's side brake setup is gonna be done, besides brake lines, of course, but we'll go ahead and tackle that in another episode. Something I always like to do, instead of fighting with the rotor when you're trying to install a caliper, is go ahead and throw a lug on. It's gonna help keep the caliper nice and flat on the hub. You don't have to fight with it when you're installing that caliper. Nice and snug. And we can throw on that caliper with ease. Last thing we're gonna have to go ahead and throw on here is the four piston strange caliper. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I almost feel bad putting it on the car and when we're gonna be putting it through, but uh, we definitely want all the stopping power we can. We're going over 150 and a quarter. All right, so giving you guys a quick little look at this. You can actually tell the rotor is not centered by the caliper. So we're looking for center line right there. Uh, we need to go ahead and push the caliper a little bit more inboard. Strange provides these shims, so that way we can go ahead and space out the caliper, I mean, pretty much a millimeter at a time. We're gonna go ahead and throw one shim in the top and the bottom, and uh, that should put us dead straight in the middle. This particular side, I ended up taking two shims on the upper and lower bolts, as you can see right here, in order for us to get center line. But everything's dead straight lined up now. And we can go ahead and throw in the pads and uh, the retaining clip that holds them in. All right. So these pads are just gonna go ahead and slide in right from the top. Obviously making maintenance and uh, changing them super quick and easy. Just gotta go ahead and line them up. Get this hardware in the middle. It slides down all as one assembly. Bolt in there from the front and the retain the nut on the back. And of course, because you got to let everybody know what you're running. The last piece is going to be the strange dust cover. Extremely nice touch to the front end here. Pop it on. There you go. Our strange Pro Series front end brake kit is complete. All right, it was a bit of a two person affair to go ahead and toss this piece in. Uh, I had to be underneath the dash while Danny was over here uh, tightening the Allen head bolts. But uh, we got the billet adapter plate all mounted up on the dashboard here. So we can mount up our strange dual reservoir master cylinder. So two quick Allen bolts to go ahead and uh, put this on. So we got the strange dual master cylinder mounted up. Uh, keep in mind, pretty much everything we're putting on this car right now is gonna have to come back off again. That chassis is gonna need everything from our setup in order to set this up properly for us. So, I mean, essentially all this metal from behind the wheel wheel is gonna be gone. So we can go ahead and mount up our proportioning valve and line lock. Everything's gonna go tucked away back behind there, cleanly in the corner. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and close it out here. We got a ton of stuff done today. From the strange brakes to the dual master cylinder, along with all the other associated strange products we put on today. Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to go ahead and clean up the shop. We'll catch you next time.